Hey guys, what is going on? We are back with another best class setup in Vanguard video for you here today. We're going to be talking about a weapon that I don't usually talk about, and it is for a very dumb reason in this game. We are talking, of course, about the M1928 here. It's definitely one of the more powerful SMGs going around right now. Now, you can't get a two-shot kill or anything like that, but when you do get a three-shot kill with the 34 damage, about 730 RPM, you get about 164 milliseconds worth of that TTK. If you land all those three bullets, you are absolutely deleting people. Plus, you get 100 rounds in the mag, which is absolutely ridiculous. You basically have a pocket LMG with this thing with SMG-like movement speed stats. Just before we do get into talking about the class that appear though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it. It really does help me out. Of course, we are still trying to move towards 6,000 subscribers. I think we need about 600 more to go. If you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. So let's talk M1928 here. This thing's still a monster. I really do think this is good, but there is one thing that I don't really like about it and we'll talk about that more in the gameplay. So as I was saying, I really do like the M1928 here, but again, as I was saying, it was, well, there is one little thing about this thing that's super dumb why I don't like it. I don't use it that much, but it is very, very powerful in this game still 164 milliseconds of ttk up close ridiculously powerful here we start us off with the recoil booster here for a plus two to our fire rate this does give us a five percent boost and does take our fire rate number to 731 rpm of course combined with the magazine attachment that we're about to talk about in the barrel slot we do have the cgc 12 inch cooling barrel for a highly accurate and controllable weapon when we do look at this this does increase our horizontal recoil control by 90 percent giving us 2.4 degrees worth of that horizontal sway which i mean that is just an absolute laser beam in the optic we can take one of two options i believe if you want to fight at medium distance we take the slate reflector just for a very nice clear side picture but if you think you can handle the up close iron sight the large set of iron sight is very very clean gives you a little boost to your aim down sight speed as well but we're going to go with of course the slate reflector here just because i would like to fight at those slightly medium distances. In the stock, we do go for the CGC wire grip here for the aim walking movement speed increase. This is pretty massive here. This is a 30% boost and allows us to walk around the map quite quickly. In the underbarrel, we do of course have the M1941 hand stop here again, plus one to our accuracy and recoil does help keep us on target. As I was saying, the magazine previously, the eight millimeter curves, 100 round drums does increase our bullet velocity, our range, our damage, our bullet penetration, as well as giving us 100 rounds in the mag, which is absolutely hilarious here. Taking a look at this again, 34 damage per bullet at 731 RPM is again about 164 milliseconds worth of that time to kill value, which is very, very powerful here. Plus again, you have hundred rounds in the mag, which means you never really have to reload and this thing is just a machine. So again, the ammo type, we do have lengthened here to increase that bullet velocity, giving us a 550 meters per second. And that hit detection, very powerful. In the rear group, we do have the fabric group here for the aim down side speed, sprint to fire, spin, hit fire, recoil, recovery with this thing. Again, nice to get those sights up. In the proficiency, we do have slide of hand here to increase our reload speed, very simple one. And then we finish this off with the kit, which is fully loaded. But again, because you do have so much starting ammo as it is, you could probably just run quick as well to increase your sprint speed here. Alrighty, so here we are on radar. Now, I did mention previously that there was something about the M1928 that meant I didn't really vibe with it, and you're about to hear it here. It's just the reload sound. Like, it's just the reload sound that doesn't make me vibe with this weapon. Nothing about it actually is bad. Like, any, like all the stats and everything, like the three-shot kill, the fast TTK, 164 milliseconds is one of the better options in the SMG category. But it's just that the reload sounds a bit like you're chucking a tin can down a hallway, and it's like... Yeah, but like, why does it, why does it sound like that? <laughs> like, it's just something that kind of bothers me. And it makes it a little bit tricky to like not think about when I'm like, yeah, but this sounds good. And then I reload it and I'm like, I just don't like that sound. <laughs> I just don't like the way that sounds. I'm not sure what it is about me. I am I alone in thinking that that sounds stupid? Like, is that just me or am I, am I wrong here? Like... Feel free to leave a comment down below if you disagree with me and you think the reload sounds awesome. If you think the reload sounds awesome, that's on you. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, I think it's like very aluminium canny, very, very tin canny, like kicking a soda can down the road. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me and I'm not sure why that actually stops me from using the gun. But yeah, I just don't like that sound. It's, it's very strange reason not to actually use a weapon, but you know. These games and stuff are all about personal preference usually, and uh, if something doesn't make you comfortable, well, you're going to do worse with it, and that's just sort of how it works. That's usually how I find my, my guns in these games, just feeling comfortable and feeling like you can pretty much do whatever you want. There's a guy above me, but there's not really a lawful lot I can do about it, so we're going to go this way instead. A little risky to move this way. But yeah. That's my main problem with this weapon. Like, the TTK is awesome. The recoil is ridiculously easy to control. Like, it kills people super quickly. And then you reload it and you're like, why does it sound like a tin can? I just don't like it. <laughs> like, that's the dumbest reason to not like a weapon. But, 
you know, it is what it is here. Any, we need to be able to change audio files in this game. Like just be able to change the audio files, the reload sound, make it sound completely different, make it sound stupid. Like even more dumb than it, I think it does sound now. I think that'd be pretty funny. I'm expecting to be a guy in the window. Yeah, there is. Yep. We're backing off. Yeah. There's always a guy in that window there. There's always a guy in that window there. Got the dogs out though. Oh, that's tough. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, this gun's awesome. Like, it's one of the best SMGs going around. And then, like, for some reason, my brain's like, no, don't. That sounds... I don't like the sound. <laughs> I don't understand sometimes, but it is what it is here. Which is a little bit risky to actually go up the top here, as there is snipers and stuff floating around on this map at the moment. But, I mean, it gives it a better angle on somebody who is walking in that way. And jump down into here. Again, a little bit risky to move into this spot, but the teammates do have control of this area a little bit. I think there's an enemy this way on the stairs. There was. That's good. Dogs are doing a pretty good job here. Dogs are doing a very good job here. Again, I don't want to move up that hallway. No, can't actually take that guy on from that angle anymore. Because we have so many bullets, we literally can just fire until the end of time here. I think you can probably fire for a good 15 seconds. Like, just with 100 bullets, like, you can just fire for so long, it's ridiculous. I'm not going to time it here, but, I mean, you can fire a lot of bullets at people before you need to reload, which is very, very cool, especially when you're getting into, like, multiple gunfights in the same same sort of area. You don't actually have to reload. Like, you can just keep shooting at people. Take him out. Oh, he's... Always looking at the minimap there. Always looking at the minimap when you do have the, uh... You have the advanced UAV going on it. It really. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't realize it was that close. Hmm. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Alright, let's move up. Should be good to go through here. Should be good to go through here, he says. There's a guy very close. Again, the radar really helping us out here. Radar really helping us out. Advanced UAV carrying us through this game, which is fine. Like, that's okay. It just means somebody else on the team's doing quite well, too. Because <laughs> we haven't had one yet, but it means somebody else is going very well on the team, which is good. Oh, wait. Two. There's two. Gotta get out of here. They need to take on that gunfight, and we don't need to reload because we have 70 bullets left in the mag. Get yeah, right. And kill left. Are we going this way? No, the team is spawning here, so again, we're going to get... Ooh. The enemies... No, backing off. Backing off immediately. Don't need to take that gunfight. Can we just lay down here? This is toxic. This is a toxic spot on this map. Now, let's move up. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was that a teammate shooting it? I'm sure that was a teammate. I'm 100% sure that was a teammate who got us killed there. That's amazing. Oh, teammates. Why are you this way? Why do they do the things that they do? Teammates are so funny in these games. They just do whatever. They're just doing stuff. Ooh, there was two in the corridor. Okay. There's two in there. Yeah, they just be doing stuff. They just be running around. They just be running around. Check that down there. Any tags? Ooh, well he's on the left. He was on the left. I shouldn't have jumped into that, but we're going to do it again. There's two. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not having to make us reload there. That was beautiful. Hundred rounds in the magazine is just perfect. Every gun should have a hundred round mag. That would make it way, way better. Imagine just having all these guns, and you never have to reload any of them. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Alrighty, how we do? 34 kills, not too many deaths. That was a pretty good game there. It was a pretty good game. Let's check how many deaths we had. So we went 34 and 5 there, and we're going to have our final thoughts on this in just a second here, because that was a pretty good game there. So as you saw there, guys, the M1928, one of my absolute favorite weapons in the game. It's just that weird reloading sound. I think it does sound like a bit of a tin can. I don't know what it is. That just puts me off a little bit when I'm trying to use this thing. 
But when I am not focusing on that, when I'm actually just shooting people with the gun, feels fantastic. It's one of the better SMGs going around right now. I think this is probably like an AT, almost like a meta tier weapon. I do think that the well gun does slightly outgun it sometimes, but again, this is still a very, very easy weapon to use. Definitely a fan favorite for sure. If you did enjoy this one and it did help you out at all, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. Of course, we are still looking for about 600 subscribers to hit 6,000. If we could hit that milestone, that would be absolutely massive and I do appreciate all the support from you guys. So again, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.